Welcome everybody to more Heroes of the Storm on Color TV. Today I have another highlight for you. A really great game that was played during the Go for Heroes tournament last weekend. We have Tempo Storm playing again on the European server and the last time that they played in the crossover match they actually went all the way to the finals where they lost against Gamers 2 back then still named 3D Max. This time they play a best of one series during the tournament against Team Dignitas. And the Cursed Hollow game was a great match and if you haven't caught that live then you need to watch this video because the game was absolutely crazy. As you can imagine before the match there was a lot of shit talk going on between the two scenes again. I mean it's always that battle at the beginning of the new game. Which server is the strongest? Is it going to be the European server? Is it the North American server? And Tempo Storm being the best team on the North American server right now. They really jump over to Europe quite regularly these days and try to beat the Europeans here. And they do fairly well. The team is extremely good and now they're going up against Team Dignitas in a best of one series during the tournament and the game was really action-packed. So guys, get yourself some popcorn and enjoy the match on Cursed Hollow between Team Dignitas and Tempo Storm. Welcome everybody to the best of one match here on Cursed Hollow at the Go for Heroes tournament. US versus Europe once again. It is Tempo Storm. They are playing on the European server again for the tournament here, and this time they are facing Team Dignitas. It is Soldier to the left side for the US team on Stitches. Kao on Tychus. We have Glorang playing Vala, Arthalon on Tassada, and Dreadnought on Malfurion. To the right side of the map, their opponents in red. It is Chris for Dignitas on Illidan, Nurok on Sergeant Hammer, Sailors playing Taranda, Linked, their newest addition to the team, is playing Rhaegar, and Blood Dragon is playing Chen. Really nice lineup, especially for Team Dignitas here. It's actually interesting to see, once again, we have that clash between uh, the regions, between the servers, we have the clash between uh, the meta, and in this case, from a European perspective, the draft was definitely won by Team Dignitas. They have a very solid comp here, good jumper comp with Illidan and Chen having the ability to jump the backline of the opponent's team, Tyrande for the extra damage, a good healer with Rhaegar that will assist, especially Illidan, a lot. The bans in the game, Uther and ETC, and that ban on ETC that we saw from Dignitas was something that they chose because they know that especially for Tempo Storm, ETC is valued very highly. The trial lane at the bot lane, uh, that's where we're seeing uh, Nurok in position with the Sergeant Hammer up to the top lane. It is that trial lane that already earlier wrecked the front of a lot of teams that Team Tempo Storm face today, and especially Vala is doing a great job here. Blood Dragon is trying to soak as much damage as he can, but the tower is down to half health. At the bottom lane, we're seeing a very similar scenario, looking at the uh, front line or at the tower here for a Soldier. And I'm really curious to see how this game is going to go. Dignitas is a team that is currently not in the top 10 in Europe, whereas Temple Storm is completely dominating the North American server. But Team Dignitas has been getting better and better results, especially after they added Linked to their lineup. They were struggling with support for some time. Now they are doing really well. And I'm curious to see if they are already on a level where they can contest this game. We're having, with the talents taken, chew your food on Stitches, I like it, with a single tank build that we currently see for Tempo Storm, it makes sense to go for a tanky Stitches. We're seeing overkill build so far on uh, Tychus, could see a melting round, or just going for the second overkill talent once the level 4 hits. It is the double Conjurer's Pursuit again on the side of Tempo Storm that we've seen so often. And it is Amplified Healing, Spray and Pray, going for the range increase on overkill. Double healing ward for the American team, and they lose the first tower, they are going to lose the second tower as well, and so far Dignitas is executing a lot of pressure here. They're having with Sergeant Hammer a great tool in their arsenal to take structures down. Once more we have Tempo Storm with that very characteristic, characteristic move to go straight for that mercenary camp once that the 2 minute mark hits and going for the siege giants. At the top lane, that's where we're having Blood Dragon doing his best to just get Arthalon out of the way, who's taken the last tower regardless. We have for Tyranda no rangers mark on level 1 and instead it is the uh, piercing talent, which of course helps to interrupt tributes that are being taken by the opponent's team on this map. It's something that we will probably see later combined with Ranger talent on level th uh, 13, sorry 16 that is, for Tyranda. 
Healing Totem for Rhaegar as well as Farside, no surprises here. And for good old Chen, it is, of course, level 1 Regeneration Master and then the Swift Reflexes on the next level. 6 versus 6, the Talents here, and Nuruch is staying at the bottom lane, saying like, yeah, you guys can really fight over that Tribute, I don't mind. And I, at the same time, will just make sure that I can put a bit of pressure at the fort to the bot lane. So trying to interrupt the Tribute as much as they can is currently what we're going to see from uh, Team Dignitas, but they couldn't really get in position for this. We're having at the bot lane now with the Siege Shine camp on the other hand, not only that particular well taken down, but also a lot of pressure against that uh, against that fort. The thing is that there is a rotation happening, and Nuruk needs to be careful with this. Already pushing KO off his horse. Ooh, a lot of damage against him, but with Arthalan jumping in as well, he needs to move back at least for now. Illidan against Soldier, but Soldier using his Chuya food, taking a bite out of Illidan. And yeah, Illidan starting to move in for that. Level 7 talents now for both of the teams, which gives us in total three first aids. One on Illidan, one on Sergeant Hammer, and the other one of course on Tychus himself. Tenderizer taking on Stitches, hook him in and keep him close. That's what his idea of a fight is. We have also Enduring Growth taking on Malfurion and the second on the first Storm Talon, in this case on Tacita. The Aura on Tyrande for the extra da base damage and uh, the attack speed. So with that, Tyranda definitely helping the team out a lot already, but we're having also a Brewmaster's balance taken for Chen. The hard cams colliding in the mid lane, and with another tribute on the map, it is time for Dignitas to really start to fight for these, since they need to make sure that there is not going to be an early curse against them. Arthalon already trying to capture, Brewmaster is a bit late on uh, the move to the bot lane, Rotators, rotates regardless. Though. Oh, nice move against Sailors, and that's a problem that Tyranda always has, gets the stun in though, and there's the healing ward already. Ready. That might be a stun out. Yes, they will have to move back. Already too many hit points lost on Chris, Linked, and Sailors. I don't think that they can really contest it here, but they're trying. Double healing ward in position for Tempo Storm, but Tempo Storm will get this tribute. They can take it now. They have done a lot of work in the beginning of this fight, and that did not allow Dignitas to move in for this. So good job by Tempo Storm. Well done here. Keep in mind the team that wins this best of one series is going to go straight into uh, the quarter final of the tournament. We're having Blood Dragon up to the top lane, gathering up a bit more experience, taking pushing that lane back, but Arthlon is already here to do the same thing for his team. And the tri lane to the bottom, rotating this time, is taking down more structures. Nurok next to his own fort is trying to push them back as much as he can. And boss is claimed with a healing ward since we're having Chris and Link going for that. But the two heroes are of course missing on the map and that is something that should be known by Tempo Storm. They realize it and they go in with Arthalon using Oracle and it's like, hey, look at that. They're trying to go for the boss here. Rotations are already happening and this is going to bring us in a very interesting situation, especially since there's level 10 already on the board for Tempo Storm and Dignitas move back. A lot of waste of time. Nothing gained during all of that. We're having the 10 talents on, oh my god, it's the Dragon Laser Drill. It's the Dragon Laser Drill. Kappa, 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 kappa. Um, yeah, best talent NA. No, jokes aside, like, Commandeer Odin is still the uh, prevailing talent, but uh, especially on level 20, if you go for the additional talent for the laser drill, then that thing suddenly has range that it is out of this world. Course already against Dignitas. Temple Storm doing well here. Where's the drill? There's the drill. The drill against Link. Link is trying to heal himself in dust, but Stitches is down. Great first skill here. Blood Dragon is moving away the barrel, but they take Illidan. Illidan is down. Illidan just looking over to Rhaegar and was like, Hey, you dirty dog. What, why did you just heal yourself? You're supposed to heal me. And Link uh, probably looking a bit apologetic and saying like, Sorry, dude, but that drill really ripped me a new one and I had to. Ah, but be it as it may, we have one kill for a kill, level 11 for both of the teams. The rotation to the bot lane as another fort is being attacked and Sailors is trying to prevent that. We're having, of course, with the Wandering Keck a great tool to push everybody away and go into a great position there. But there's the Starfall to consider, Ancestral Healing, Metamorphosis. Especially Illidan is, of course, going to get stronger once that the game is being prolonged. Boss taken at the top lane. Not quite sure if Dignitas realized that already. Yes, they do. They know. And they are in position to contest that, or at least they're trying to. Stitch just needs to be careful. Stitch just needs to be very careful. Use to your foot already. Glorang moving away. Oh, with his uh, strafe. Not hitting too much there, but the barrel is not ready. Blood Dragon. Oh, the heal again. And the boss this time not taken. Uh, again. Still very close. The two teams are very, very close with this. And yeah. 
I'm pretty excited to see that drill in action, to be honest. You see it a lot more often if you play Hero League and also Quick Matches these days, especially now since we had that change to Odin in the last patch. Drill is something that became suddenly very interesting to a lot of people. And it might it is not as trolly as a talent as you might think. The drill can actually do damage, and if you get that level 20 talent and get a good position for it, then yes. it can do work. The secret oftentimes is to just focus it down. It doesn't really have the most hit points, but if you leave it alive during a fight and you just stand there, then it can do a ton of damage. Oh, does he have to use Metamorphosis to get away there? I don't think so. The rotations are happening. They're moving in, trying to get it. It's a 3 vs 3. Oh, nice! Nice! And they're jumping in. I'm not quite sure if they can fight this fight just yet. The Brewmaster is on his way, but it's a 5 versus 4 at this point. Nice! I love that ulti from Taranda. Oh, the heal again! It's Chris on his Illidan in the last second and look how the panda is just moving them back. Down goes Malfurion. They kill Vala as well and the hunting season is on. Soldier is dying too and KO. What are you going to do against Illidan? And the only answer to that question is die, die, die. A painful death and that's exactly what happens to him too. Four heroes taken out and it looks like Arthalon is not going to escape either. It's a team wipe. Level 14 versus 13. Team Dignitas is taking a huge huge lead in this game all of a sudden. It was really Chen going in with a barrel and making sure that especially Tassadag didn't get any damage done with his uh, with his Archon. And let's not forget about that incredible ult that we not only saw from Tyrande with a good Starfall, but also Rega with the last second Ancestral Healing. Great move by him here. Very, very nice to see that. Now we're having the 13 talents, of course, for both of the teams with a Frost Shot on Mala. We're having also with Tranquility taken from Malfurion. Ice Block being used once again. Uh, Relentless on Stitchers, going for the full tank build. We uh, see Luna Blaze for Taranda. Another tribute on the map now. The boss, of course, barreling down the top lane, trying to take that on as fast as they can. We're having currently also Relentless taken on uh, the Panda, which will help him a bit more to survive here. Feral Lunge taken, Giant Killer on Sergeant Hammer, and they're moving in straight on the mid lane again, taking down that wall, moving down to the bottom to grab another big and ugly boss. Uh-oh, Glorang needs to be very careful here. They're taking the hard cam. There could be a hook from Stitcher. Soldier's waiting for Hero to be in position. If he sees Tyranda, and he does. Tyranda very likely to go down, even using his ulti now to get Tyranda out there. Yeah, it's, there's, there's no way. Tyranda is dead. That was a very optimistic move, to be honest. I mean, you kind of have to expect that Stitches might be standing there and uh, trying to get a hook in. So uh, Dignitas with a bit of a misplay there on Tyranda. But they still have, of course, that camp that is starting to do his thing. And as you can see, with the rotation down to the bottom, it is currently SMG, aka Tempo Storm, trying to get that boss. And they will get it. Because at this point, if you are one hero down, I mean, what exactly are you going to do here? There's very, very little that you can actually do to uh, contest that boss. But they're trying. They're actually trying in. Taranda is still dead, but they are trying to go for that. Oh, and this could get ugly very, very fast. The boss is still there. Arthalon is low, though. Oh, Glorang dies on Valas. Chris with Illidan is just doing work, and Arthalon is about to maybe die as well. Chris is moving back. The boss is taken. Unbelievable. With a 4 versus 5, they're moving in and take it. Level 16 now versus 15. And oh my god, Arthalon. 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 The dog is jumping in. And they're trying to get him, but they can't. Arthalon just barely survives. Oh! What? He gets out. He gets out. Unbelievable. A cross map owl takes him down. Link still alive. Soldier getting wrecked. Dreadnought stunned out. Oh my god, that game is snowballing fast. Level 17 versus 15 right now. The extra talent, the blood for blood KO. They jump in and they take him down as well. So much momentum for Dignitas. Oh my god, those guys are in a blood frenzy. They're just moving in like sharks in the water. And they're going straight for Glorang once again. And down he goes. 11 kills against two. What's going on here? Oh my god. They're moving straight for that again. Dreadnought being taken apart. The GG already called. The fort or the keep is down. They're going for the core right now. Arthalon is doing whatever he can to somehow keep them in the game. We have Soldier back to business as well, but the shield is already gone. Here comes the old, and this could be game, ladies and gentlemen. Tempo Storm taken out. Dignitas takes the game in the best of one series and wins the match here on Cursed Hollow, taking down the NA Menace. Congratulations to Dignitas for the 1 0 victory at the Go for Heroes tournament.
What a snowball at the end of the game. The Owl of Death dropping Tacita and everything just completely ran against Team Tempo Storm at this point. Dignitas the entire time, I mean it was really a battle on eye level and suddenly with that boss capture the Tempo Storm was attempting at the bot lane. From that point on everything just went south. So much momentum building up for Team Dignitas and they just ran with it and they never let go. They just like pounced on Tempo Storm, dropped hero after hero and with all that pressure the American team in the end crumbled and was defeated and therefore is out of the tournament. Amazing performance here by Team Dignitas and a great game. I hope that you enjoyed the match and if you did you know the drill. Upload it on YouTube and write a comment in the comment section if there's anything that you want to know about the match, about the compositions or if you just want to say some your know, personal opinion about what happened there. And also guys subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't done that just yet. More content gonna come your way in the future with Heroes of the Storm of course here on Color TV.